Hello everyone, I am Janne Savic Mikkonen alongside David Dokairo and we are here to bring you the next match of the day. This is the Kingwin Pro League, week 8, day 2. And we have the Dragon Master Brian, Brian Gibler, Gibler of Brian Gibler Gaming <laughs> going up against the reigning world champion Arkham Firebat. What do you think of that match, Doc? Should be good. Gibler plays usually pretty interesting decks and Firebat brings solid decks. I don't know. It it should be a good matchup regardless. I, I respect both the players a lot, so Yeah, I'm I'm like especially like like you brought it up that uh, Brian Gibler does bring some of the more interesting decks, I would say. Like sometimes he can he can uh, throw off some curveballs that you might not uh, there, there might be some decks that are not something that you see every day. And Firebat on the other hand, like there's a reason why he's the world champion. I think like my personal opinion is that when I when I watch him play, he's one of those players that does like the maybe the least amount of like mistakes. Like I don't I don't know if that's always like the the absolutely best play. It's really hard to tell what, what is the absolutely the, the best play. But uh, whatever like decision he ends up going with, it's like really hard to call a call a mistake. Exactly. Yeah. He always has like a reason for the play he makes, and he never really makes mistakes, and that's why he's so good. He just. Yeah, he's been really consistent as well. Like you're doing uh, good work, winning tournaments. Like the, the, I think he won a, a pinnacle, and uh, I'm really bad at remembering this stuff. But uh, he, he's been he's been doing well, and uh, I think I, yeah. I would say that he's the favorite going into this. I think he won BlizzCon, right? Oh, was that him? Yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, I, I, was, <laughs> I was I was trying to like uh, think of like some more uh, like recent tournaments. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's yeah. look at the lineups here. So Gibler is going to be bringing Druid, Hunter, Mage, and uh, Firebat will be playing Druid, Rogue, and Warrior. What do you make of that? Surprising to see Firebat bring Warrior. I don't think I've seen him bring Warrior in a long time. Yeah, he's he's definitely somebody who can play a lot of different decks, and I think that from week to week, it's not like he's been playing the same deck. I feel like maybe somebody like Life Coach from the previous match. He's he's maybe a little bit more like predictable, and he likes to stick to his guns. But Firebat mixes it up, and uh, it's uh, it's really hard to, for Kibler to like try to predict what Firebat would be playing. And I don't know if this is like the lineup he expected. That's true. Who do, do you, who do you think has the edge? It just depends what kind of mage Kibler brought. Do you think it's uh, Freeze Mage? I don't think Kibler plays Freeze Mage very much, does I he? I don't think so. I've ever seen him play yeah, Freeze Yeah, I think he plays Tempo Mage. Uh, maybe Mech, but I think it's yeah, mostly Tempo, tempo and Mech. So if it is tempo or mech, I actually think Kibler is favored based on the classes. Mm -hmm. uh, but if uh, it's freeze, then yeah. Firebat's definitely favored. Yeah, and Firebat is somebody who knows how to play the rogue against mage too. So the first match, let's, let's look at their first pick. So we can actually see it here. It's going to be druid against druid. So my prediction is that druid is going to win. <laughs> Skill matchup. Um, <laughs> it's it uh, always I, like every time when we see this matchup. It has a lot to do with the wild curse and the inner ways, but there is also some room for making moves. And um, there is. You can... if, you, if you if you misplay the mirror match, it can snowball pretty bad. So it's not like it's all about the draws and only the draws, but it is a big part of it. Like you can't deny that. Yeah, setting up for things in this matchup is really important. Um, maybe trying to uh, mind game them a little bit, like. Put mm -hmm. them at 14, make them scared of combo even if you don't have it. There's there's some things you can do, but ultimately it comes down to the wild card, comes down to the innervate, yeah. things like that. Also, and sometimes it's uh, it, it depends a lot on what you wild uh, what what you innervate. Because if you innervate at the wrong time and you mess up your next turn, it might be it might be kind of problematic. So um, makes I hope that. Um, Mm, yeah, so um, I don't think we're gonna see a close one here. I I, yeah. I, I really hate it when, if they, when there's like a mirror match and uh, one of the players just like <laughs> completely runs away with it with a exactly with a ridiculous draw. It can be kind of I don't know, not very exciting to watch, but I don't know. Whenever it's like even match Druid v Druid games, they're kind of nail biters because it's like, oh my goodness, like he might have lethal this turn. And it's like, oh, we mm. like just played around it, and it's like it's pretty yeah, it's pretty interesting sometimes. I'm curious. I wonder if they're like running some deck cards. It, it's like Druid is one of those decks that are quite often it's more or less the same. Yeah, like, it's, uh, it's like one or yeah. two cards off usually. Yeah. Like, do you play, let's, let's say, Gazon, depending on what you're predicting. Like, if you think that you wanna, if, you, if your opponent is going to be likely to be bringing secret decks, maybe you'll drop in a Gazon. 
if you want to like if you're predicting weapon class maybe you bring a Harrison but exactly. other than that there's actually like 27 cards that, that rarely change maybe Kibler will bring a dragon maybe we'll see Alex Strauss of this game if we're like please lucky. Brian just you something <laughs> live up to your name don't just uh, play dragons I know that he's been experimenting a lot with the, with Paladin dragons lately yeah. With uh, not that much success, and we can also see it here that he chose not to bring it here. We actually been, I've been talking a little bit with him, and he really wants to make it work, and I also really want to make it work, because I think it's like such a fun theme. Like yeah, dragons, they're good. like the ultimate badasses in like these type of like fantasy card games. Like, what's what beats dragons? Other dragons? I have no idea. Yeah, other beats. Yes, bigger, bigger dragons. <laughs> BGH yes. beats it. Well, some of them, yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay. A little dwarf. Uh, I, mean, it. I was like, there's nothing that beats them, but you're right. Maybe BGH. But it might be at the bottom of the deck. So let's just imagine that the BGH is at the bottom of the deck. The only thing that beats dragons is the bigger dragons. That's true. Okay. Yes. Got that settled. <laughs> but um, I am. I doubt it's gonna be <laughs> be a dragon druid still. Yeah, maybe once Hungry Dragon comes out, because you can you can mm -hmm. fit in a lot of dragons into druid. Hungry Dragon, Drake, maybe like Alex Straza, something like that. Uh, Paladin yeah. will probably see the most dragons, obviously, but uh, I don't think that'll mm -hmm. be very useful until either Hungry Dragon or the neutral Fire Elemental comes out. I think so. The like the reason uh, if somebody's like not that familiar like uh, with uh, with all of the new cards. The reason why Paladin might be the go-to Dragon class is the Dragon Consort, which is the new 5-mana five 5-5, five five, which uh, gives you a 2-mana discount on the next Dragon that you play. But uh, the problem with that deck has mostly been that there's not that many Dragons just yet. <laughs> so you have to play like Azure Drakes and like some of them. Some of the cards that don't really like fit with the team, but you exactly. have to throw them in because they are Dragons to make the synergies work. Yeah. We are almost ready to jump into the first game. Should be any minute right now. <clears throat> Hoping for dragons, but <laughs> not, <laughs> not keeping the hopes too high. Oh my god, what's that? I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wild growth, inner rate. Okay. One of the players has wild growth, another one has inner rate. Oh. I actually think wild growth is better, but. I think so then, yeah. Uh, with innervate. Emperor, that might actually be significantly mm -hmm. better. So it'll be <laughs> like well. Let's draw out the well place. He might still draw his own. Oh no. Nope. Nope. This is Kipler who has the ET. Okay. Yep. Firebat's good, dude. Yeah. Looks like the we are once again like just like in the in the previous mirror match that we saw, we are going to see that turn three coin innervate Emperor, that, which uh, is quite good. That. Shredder was a really important draw because it was. Yeah, he, he can clear it yeah. and then play the shade next turn, and like it doesn't really hinder him. Mm -hmm. it's just uh, it was absolutely huge because otherwise he would have been playing the shade, and if he had the shade on the board, he would have to still trade it in with the broad. So now he has like he can play a minion. He can even keep a minion from the shredder, the small one. Uh, I don't like attacking with the shredder first because if you get mana wraith, you can't do a play. Uh huh. So, but uh, if it was uh. Explosive sheep. <laughs> that is true. There are two negative ones, which, is, want to which is Doomsayer and Explosive sheep, which mm -hmm. is, I guess, better. So yeah, it was correct to trade first. Yeah. Well, it's like a, it's, there's so many things that can happen out there. Yeah, but you are also correct. Like it would have really sucked if it was a man, right? If that was a battle cry, I think you trade in first. If not, then you don't. Yep. That's usually the uh, consensus. Yep. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. I don't think either one of the players is like. That much ahead, like Firebat had the wild growth, so he, he's gonna get to play his lore first, which is a pretty big deal. But also, um, Gibbler did have the the Emperor, di or did get the Emperor discount. Dude, I'm pretty excited to see the MC Tech coming to play. Like, oh, yeah. that that's actually a really, really, really good card in the mirror. Like, it is super good in the mirror. The value you get out of it, like. Like, there's not that many small things that you can steal with, so if there's like four minions, you're almost guaranteed to get something that's good. Exactly. You don't get like a clockwork gnome or something. Oh my it's goodness, just... there is a dragon in his deck. Look at that drake. Wow. <laughs> oh, whoa. Just for the flavor. <laughs> oh, so he popped the shade. I guess, yeah. uh... Okay. 
Keeper he's pretty good shade, gun. Right? Keeper, yeah. He is the keeper shade. Yeah, for sure. I don't think anything else is even closed. That, uh, those discounts from the Emperor really paying off big time. It was actually like straight up worth two mana there, like an inner... Oh! Whoa. Just back card. Yeah. Well, it's not gonna be very useful against Keep Plus Line. No, well, maybe the what Druid. Is, what is I, I, I'm sorry, up? maybe a... Wait, it actually might be good. Kipler Kipler has was running Hunter and Mage, I was looking oh, at wow. the So if, if um, yeah, if, if Firebat drops this game, the guess on might actually be a huge. But uh, it looks like he's, he's a bit ahead right now. I like Loth up here. Uh, yeah, he can't play anything else afterwards, but it's still like pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I think so though. What, what are your other options really? Like the swipe is, it's not that great. Keeper, no. Yeah. Plus, like if he ignores you, I mm -hmm. mean, you you're gonna trade into the three two. That's the thing. Okay, swipe is fine also. Maybe he's trying to okay, save that for a more influential turn, but. Okay. But it's just it's not that clean because you still have to go exactly. into the into the shrink monster with them. But uh, I, I can't. Yeah, I guess that's kind of okay. It's like it's not too bad. It's just not as clean as you would hope. Do not attack with the shade. No, it's like the perfect rot if he attacks with it. Yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, okay. Belcher. Yeah. Belcher hero. Power? I might have just dropped like, the Kazan and the other thing, but... I would have consider it too, but on the other hand, like, how good is the Kazan? It's like, it's pretty bad, because it, then you also leave up to 2-1. That's true. I can understand uh, if this is like... Yeah, sure. Would you, do you want to cycle the Wrath, or do you, do you think that the Wrath is like better than an average card that you draw? So, the, so if he goes, let's say, okay, the play is Belcher. Do you hero power or do you wrath? Like, I yeah, think I think you would wrath because you need to cycle for the next turn huh? you're playing to find like savage Road and stuff. Yeah, or anything else. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But he, he did end up going with that um, double four play, and it is more mana efficient. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good because there's there's also uh, no easy way to deal one damage. I mean, he has to um, hero power basically to extend the trade with the keeper on the. On the guess on. Even this <clears throat> turn is hard. Like, you Lotheb MC Tech go ham. <laughs> huh. I might yeah, do that. That's pretty interesting, yeah. But the thing is, it, he only has one combo piece and he's only at seven mana, so. It's true. And, like, Firebat has a, a, a Belcher, so it's like. Kind of and so Firebat will probably not fall for it and go for any kind of trades. He would just like Belcher and go face. Because Firebat, like, if, if he went for that low tap my MC deck and Firebat ended up making trades, like, that would leave Gabler in really good shape. But because of the Belcher, Firebat doesn't need to do the trades. So I think that going ham thing is, um, <laughs> would, not, would not really work out here. Yeah, I don't think it would either. So he goes for the trade. Mm-hmm. Plays the low theb. I like it. Doesn't die immediately to the 4 3. Yep. Draws important. Ah, whiffed. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. Got zero power. Do you die if you go face? Yeah. I was going to say, face might be the best option here. Mm hmm. I guess he knows there's no combo coming just yet. It's a really aggressive. Oh. oh. But the Firebat does not have enough to end yeah, the game. Yeah, he definitely like doesn't. Because the Belcher is going to be removed, like that's for sure. And the Force of Nature, Hero Power is 7 plus 4 from the Shredder. That would still be 1 off. But that's the thing, like, as I was saying, you can bluff. You can mind games and you could be like, oh, like, oh my god, they're both running Kazan. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's it's been getting more and more popular. It has been. Maybe, Three. okay, when I, whenever I went to China with Tempo Storm, uh, we like, you know, we played in the little league or whatever. Almost every deck had Kazan. And now we're starting to see uh, it in like really? our, our meta. And so like now I'm just like, are they ahead of us? Was I wrong the entire time? <laughs> that was kind of a weird play. Okay, it's Kibler throwing out the well played here, but the uh, does not quite have it just yet. 
Yeah, he doesn't. Looks like he's going it out for a clear with the Falls of Nature. It's, it is quite clean. And he, I'm trying to figure out if he can actually kill everything. He can. Yeah, I don't, really like, uh, I don't really like trading into that Shredder there, because you're dead to Force Roar anyways. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you protect yourself against, like, maybe Drew the Claw Savage War. What about and Force, the, force to face with two of the Treants? To so like, you kill, kill off the Shade. And then go face with everything else? Yes. And, like, uh, because then you set up the Force of Nature Hero Power lead for the next turn. But the thing is, is he dead to a Kibler has the combo? How much is that? It's 10 plus, 10 plus 14, okay. So he actually would be dead, so this is a bit of a, like, a risky play. It's a pretty risky play. Firebats! He's going for it. He, well, well, he might not. He's no, no he being might. pretty aggressive, though. Mm -hmm. but he can still do the trade for the trick. <laughs> I, Looking at the cards, the, I think I would, wild, I would wild growth first and see if I got... Um, Mm -hmm. Like a Savage Ore or something, and then decide. I would probably trade because yeah. I'm scared. But this might actually pay off for him. Yeah, it looks like it was a really good... Oh, but he can heal here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely heal. But you, you did just saw one force, but it also maybe signals that there might be another one coming. Yeah, and you're dead to a Drew the Claw. Yep. You're dead to a Swipe? No, you're not. Yeah, because, the... because of the inner rate. Because of the inner yeah, rate. Yeah, no, 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 wait. Swipe. Druid of the Claw would not, not lethal. Swipe. No, swipe is lethal. Swipe or Savage Roar? Oof, one off. It's one off, yeah. That was a really clutch <laughs> draw there with the Druid of the Claw for the heal. Hey, wow. That's so close. Not looking so good for Fire, but right now. But uh, also, like, the, keep, the hand that Gibbler has, there's not much, like, stuff to do, do things immediately. Charge. So he's aggressive. Just, he's just, yeah, he just does this stuff. Like, he's just... Yeah. Again, like, putting me exactly to, like, lethal. It's paying off, though. This is the thing. You don't want to be playing defense in the Druid v. Druid mirror. It's just... Mm -hmm. It's a setup yeah. for disaster. And this is a really good play. Oh, he's running double Double Gassons! Does Firebat have any secret classes? No. Firebat oh does my not goodness. have any secret. This might be, like, really, really, really bad. For Imagine people. if those are Belchers. Yeah, oh, that's oh my brutal. goodness. I think Gabler is in a lot of trouble against the uh, Rogue and Warrior. Well, well, it's a good matchup, but I mean, those are those are still gonna hurt. I think you'll still win the Warrior matchup. Maybe, but yeah, it's it's Rogue, like that heavily. Maybe not though. The, the Rogue is like you you you're risking a lot by playing MC Tech Double Kazan. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a, it gives him a lot of trouble. But the the Warrior matchup it's like so heavily favored. Yeah. For the Druid that it might be. Well, at least it's doable, that's for sure. But it might it's still doable. be even favored. It's, it's tough to tell, because I actually haven't like played that much stuff with uh, double Kazan type of decks. So Firebat's going to take game one against Kibler, beating yeah. him in the Druid mirror. I, I really like the way that he played. It was, it was extremely aggressive there. He knew that, like, um, he, it, um, he, he did take like, one chance. Because if Kibler, when he chose to go full face with the with the three hands. He would have died to combat. The first boss of nature, yes, leaving up the Azure Drake. He would have been dead because then there was ten ten on the board and fourteen more coming <laughs> coming up. So Okay, production trolling it. Yeah. Uh, it, it would have been <laughs> it, it was a bit risky, but I he knew he knew, he knew the knew the risks that he are taking he he was taking and uh, it was it paid off. It paid off. Yeah, well, I, think, uh, I think he put Gibbler on not having double combo, which is probably accurate. Yeah. Seeing the double guess arms. Do you think he got like piloted shredders? Did Gibbler play any piloted shredders? He didn't, I don't think, but I don't think you can cut shredders. Maybe he just runs like so a lot of four drops. The Maybe. way that I've been doing it when I when I played like one guess on is that I've just like added it. Because I feel like you want to like you want to always have the shredders. The shredders are just like too good to pass up. And, and you're gonna easily afford to have an extra four drop because there's not that many four drops because like only shredders and well keepers but keepers are situational yeah it's like the worst feeling when you just drop a keeper to deal to the two damage to face yeah it's also the worst feeling to like draw wild growth and then miss your turn four so mm -hmm. yeah it, i mean true. a four three is better than nothing right yep it's something <laughs>
Exactly. Those, those are like we'll just have to like wait and see how much those guest arms will come back to haunt him. Uh, I, I kind of wish we could see his list right now, so we could like whenever he plays a guest on, if he actually got shredders, for we could be like, oh. If we had a Shredder here, he would win or anything. Yeah, like that. exactly. Cutting Kazans, like I, I feel like you cut Belchers for Kazans. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm crazy, but it seems correct to me. Yeah, or run just one Belcher, or, but it, it, it's probably something from the five drops or one Force of Nature, something like that. Yeah, for, yeah, like a Force of Nature. I don't like double Force, but it's it's gotten a lot better with Emperor. Like, I think so though. Exactly. I'm, I'm, mm, I've been still like leaning towards the one come, but I. Like uh, two drawers, of course. Two drawers are like way too good to pass. Yeah, exactly. So you can so use them to do the flaws and everything. But I, I'm also like usually been playing just one force. So you can, it's like it's a bit situational. It's it's clunky. You can use it for board clear on six sometimes. Like just trade it for one for one for maybe a druid of the claw taunt or some kind of like like imperatories, and you can trade one for one. But it, it doesn't give you an advantage. Yeah. So uh, it's just like drawing two forces at the same time. So by having one. It's like you never get that situation. That's exactly my reasoning. I usually only run double roar. Looks like uh, we have the lineup. Firebat picked Rogue and Kibler is going to be playing Druid. Yep. Uh, I think it's going to be rough times for, for Kibler. Kibler. Yep. Double MC, or MC Tech and double Kazan against Rogue is like not the best. No, not at all. And, uh, and Firebat knows how to play that matchup. He's, I've actually talked with him about this particular matchup, and he thinks it's like really, <laughs> really heavily favored for the rogue. And we are even talking about regular druid lists here, like the normal ones without Gazans. <laughs> without without Gazans, yeah. Without MC deck. So now this, like, <laughs> those are like hindering him, <laughs> like um, Kibler's ability to, yeah, uh, I agree to combat so. the rogue. I think rogue is favored. Not like super heavily, but I, I think rogue is favored. Yeah. And, um, my deck card, like usually, like my, my normal choice of deck card for the Druid has been Harrison Jones. But there's no way you run Harrison Jones if there's double guess on. <laughs> oh, man. That, that doesn't make any sense because you're like targeting multiple decks and it's just like way too bad against those that uh, that you miss on both of the both types of deck cards. Just wait till we see the Ysera. Then we'll be oh, happy. Yeah. Please be in there. Here we go. Scenarios, force of nature, agent of lore. Not the stuff you want in the starting hand. No, not really. Firebat's hand, on the other hand, is pretty good. Oh, so we didn't cut the shredder, shredder, right? Yeah, there's, there's a shredder. shredder. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good for him. For <laughs> good I would, for I him. would have been firing a little bit of shots if he if he got the got the shredder because it's just too good. Wow, firebat's hand. So. I really like this play of playing the uh, Thalnos on two. It prevents mm -hmm. wild growth and like if, you know, he coins out his shade, obviously fan is prevalent. So you just make the druid waste his turn too. I think so though. Yeah, sometimes I, if he had a prep to go along with the fan, I actually sometimes I've, I've uh, kept it. So you're going to go like blood mage prep fan to pro potentially like, remove a shade. Yeah. But it's also that he, he has a, a different type of, oh, wild growth. That's what you do. Just a bit. Uh, I I think I like wild growth. Me your too, because that would allow him to actually play the Emperor next. Exactly, time. and your four drops are so weak. Like they just mm -hmm. die. I guess Firebat didn't dagger, so he actually can't backstab and trade. But he uh, can trade here, teacher backstab. Sad. That's interesting. No, I I don't think he's up here. No, I'm just trade and hope that it's like a two. Toughness mini. I agree. I but if it's a 2 3, it's not that amazing. But the, the, the thing with Sapi is what do you follow it up with? Nothing. Dagger. And then next turn yeah. you can teacher or Drake backstab and then trade. But mm -hmm. I don't think it's worth it. But okay. He does, maybe. <laughs> he is thinking about it at least. <laughs> Kibler's face. He's like, what? Oh. Alright, well. Damn. Why but knows this matchup inside out, so... Yeah. I don't know, I, I, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Just but I've got, I've got lean towards the teacher and like... Yeah. Me too. Trying to find every bit of tempo he can. I guess it, it might have something to do with the trade, because he can like spell power backstab it now. Actually like, teacher deadly attack. 
Oh yeah, that's even better. I, I, yeah, that's even better actually. Yeah, the deadly sure. is a pretty good. Not that he picked up the deadly. I didn't see the deadly poison. It was the fresh draw. But if he didn't find that, I'm, I think his plan was to go with them. Um, Drake backstab. Drake backstab. Yeah. The issue with Drake backstab is it's so weak to swipe. Like that's why I don't like that play as much. Because mm -hmm. like, imagine yeah, he did that and he traded, got a two HP minion, then board clear, right? Oh, yeah. oh I, but he yeah, does have the backstab. Exactly. So he also... Killer's face. Nope. <laughs> Uh, I think you have to loath up and pray no. Maybe not. Uh -huh. Well, I'm kind of like learning here. I guess the sap was pretty good. Like it, pay it seemed to have paid off so big time. Like he, he, he actually snowballed the board from there. I would just be like, eh, no, you don't do it because you, do you only get like weapon. I don't know. If he wouldn't have drawn the deadly, he would be um, Kibler would be in a much better position. That's true, that's true though. Like, if he didn't have the deadly in his hand yeah. when he made the play. If he had the deadly, I would like be behind that play 100%, but like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, could have been a different different situation. Exactly. But it worked out, so it was right. Yep. yep. Okay. <laughs> it's oriented, yeah. What do you play here? It's difficult. He already used the sap, so you're not too scared about that. Shoot with the claw taunt might be fine, but he goes for the low thub. I think it's fine, but I mean, there's already a good trade available for it. It's just the one ones and the weapon. Yeah. You just so it's not tokens. It's far from perfect, that's for sure. But it's only like it's actually getting worse and worse. <laughs> like if it wasn't already bad enough, now it's like even worse. That's exactly what you want, though, as the rogue. You want like all yes. your drop, your five drop, like. Oh my god, the <laughs> Kazans. <laughs> You're trolling. It's to take cards <laughs> you have against this. Has to be Emperor, right? I mean, it's not great. You're looking at 10 damage already on the board. But I just don't know, like, what. He's like, he's like mm, Emperor? Emperor? Mm, Emperor. <laughs> sure. I think you Emperor. That's, like, the only thing that seems like yeah. it might even put you in a position. Uh, it's it's still a long shot, but it does give him a chance. But you like, can... if fire, but somehow blank. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Draws Maybe like... it doesn't. <laughs> we need to try to hype this up as if the game is not over yet. <laughs> but he gets three mana Kazans next turn. Ooh, Think of the value. Yeah. He can go Kazan, Kazan, wild <laughs> throw, and turn the game around. That's like the turn seven, the dream. The tr dream. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, so that's lethal, right? If, if, the, if the oil lands on not a 1 1. It's like 60% lethal. Is it? My accounting is wrong. Oh, wait, I, I, no, it's not. It's not. It's, it's, not. it's 2 damage off. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think you go for it. But it's a bit off, even if he lands on a good target. Seems right? solid. Or just 1 damage off. Oh, yeah, two, 2 damage, yeah. Dang, he even got on the right. Oh, he just got to Yeah. Yeah. But I can't blame him for that. Exactly. It's just a losing situation, but that's okay. Firebat's huh. going to take that game. He's up 2 0 now. He only has his warrior left, is that correct? Yes. That's right. My, I'm interested to see like, if they guess on. I mean, I'm sorry if I'm a bit like repeating myself, but that's like the, that's, like, the most interesting thing about the, the Druid deck that. Kibler chose to bring. So if those deck cards will hurt him, because it, again, it's the same situation as against the Rogue. Those Kesalans and the Mind Control deck, the, all of those three cards are really hard to use efficiently. Yeah, that's, uh, and that's like a lot of tech cards. That's a lot of tech cards. Maybe yeah, he was expecting he Mech Mage or something. Uh, mm -hmm. Those cards seem very good against Mech Mage. Something like that. Yeah, but on the other hand, I mean, Druid, Warrior, Druid, warrior, druid, druid draws a lot of cards, plays a lot of minions, warrior likes to remove minions, but the druid is just like, it's usually kind of an endless flow of minions. Yep. Against something like rogue, you can just, with your weapons and your other removal, you just keep the board clear and that's how you win. But how do you keep the board clear against druid? There's the shades, there's the shredders, there's uh, so many things that are really difficult and inefficient to clear. Yeah, they just keep having cards. If they have enough cycle, you're just mm -hmm. not. Yeah, it's not gonna be a good time. Even one BGH, and you're just like, yeah. played this card for nine mana, and you killed it for three. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna give the edge to Gibbler here anyway, regardless of the tech yeah. card. It's gonna be a uh, warrior versus druid, so. What if it's? Come on, no. What if it's a uh, patron warrior. Yeah, I was hoping for it, but I got disappointed again. Only show has uh, so far has <laughs> shown it in a competitive play. I, I, we did see it like in, in the, during the weekend, I think, in the tournament. Like the King for Charity Easter edition, I think. But um, in the in the pro league, I don't believe anybody played it yesterday. I'm not sure though. I don't think so either. Oh baby! Oh look at oh, that! Doggy. Yeah, he gives. <laughs> look at his face! Yeah. Look at his face! <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm pretty good at this game. <laughs> huh? What? That's a weird play. Yeah, it's really strange. That's a weird play. <laughs> I don't play warrior enough to know. Honestly, it's like for a trader, I guess. Like he wants to like buy a war extent trade for. Uh, I don't know. That that really was strange. I guess he can kill a Belcher next turn. It's next mm -hmm. level, yo. Wow. That's really, I, I don't know if I've seen that play ever before. Can't quite remember. Double lore is actually really important. Wait, what? What? Okay. Wait, wait a just, minute. It's <laughs> an interesting deck. The warrior is curving out really well, but I mean, look at the druid and emperor with double lore. It's like... He draws BGH L1. Uh-huh. That's, that's, um, that's what I'm gonna put this on. The thing is, like, here... Oh, okay, okay, he, he can clear it, right? But yeah, no. with, um, with Despite Whirlwind. Oh man, that's so inefficient, though. It is, but he has to do... I, you can't leave that up against Druid, there's no way. There's no way you leave that up. I mean, you hate doing it, you'd much rather play something else, but you just gotta do it. Yep, he, is doing so he agrees it. with you. And like, I guess Lore is dealt with pretty easily here, and next turn he could even coin Boom. So as I said, this might come down to Kibler drawing into a... Um, a combo. Yeah, a combo or a BGH, something like that. Yeah, a BGH would be a huge win. Although, maybe maybe Firebat will be scared of combo. And That's the thing like about the Emperor. Yeah. Like, it's not like... I don't think Firebat's slyest that he plays around that much stuff. Like, he, he likes to take a chance, like we saw in the Druid Mirror. So I would really expect him to just go with the boom and like just risk the, yeah. the potential of big game hunter. I like it. It might even signal something. Wow. Doomsayer yeah, is a card he likes yeah. to tech in a lot. and I... I've seen that before. It's actually not a new one from Firebat. It's pretty good against some, some decks. Like um, <laughs> most... Mage. Yeah, mechmates. Especially mechmates. Can kill he, tempo. It's oh. it's a good card. He's actually, yeah, he is going to take a bit more defensive line of play. He actually it's, might doomsayer like here. It. He was considering the armor smith. He might armor smith doomsayer and then attack in to try to like get initiative on board. Uh, I think. But that would make sense actually because you already have initiative on board. I think he was like gonna armor smith then kill that off and maybe coin a belcher. Oh, okay. No. Wait, okay. Oh, he wants the armor? Okay. I don't know. That might value the uh, HP of the Belcher more. Yeah, I think so too. Because that plays kind of in the swine. Oh, a little lot bit. Oh, a lot. It's actually yeah. a lot in the swine. That's amazing. But he has the six mana lore. And he has the three mana swipe. He doesn't even have to use the inner weight. And he can, do, he can just go lore swipe. Yeah, like, oh. the warrior gets some, car, gets some um, armor. I don't think you care about that. Well, once again, if Kibler, like, I, I guess he has, like, a way to deal with Boom with, like, Swipe Wrath, but if Kibler doesn't draw into a BGH, it's still anybody's game. Yeah. I, I think he's gonna get punished quite hard by you. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? what? Not swiping? I thought it was an Wait. obvious swipe. No, 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 I'm confused. The three mana swipe on the belt, right? I'm, I think that's like very hard. <laughs> he's, he's like, it's just too easy. <laughs> yeah. I'd be shocked if he did something else. It's so simple, it can't be right. Okay. Wow. I'm confused. He wants to draw. Or. Maybe he wants to swipe face? The armor's. Wait. Okay. He's just. Oh, he's killing it, maybe? So the armor's not there? Uh, okay. uh, I guess that's fine. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, so he's gonna do this fight. Still. Yeah. Two cards for... 3 HP less on him and a 1-2. That's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I was like, I, when I was hovering over the Wrath, I was thinking he's not gonna do, use the swipe at all. I was like, no, why would you not <laughs> swipe a 4 toughness belt so that you also get that... Get rid of that, um... That 2-1 for free, kind of. But it, it does feel pretty bad to use two cards for already damaged armor smith. Exactly. Scenarius is really, really good here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I would just drop Scenarius, but... Oh, he's gonna go aggressive. Oh, not that aggressive. Strange. Geddon wrecks him. Kind of. I have, like, snap Scenarius, I think. Yeah, I don't know if I like this as much. It should be good on my... No way. Yeah. I not do anything else. My <laughs> hand's so strange. Is he playing an all-legendary deck? Oh, that's right, he's playing Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My favorite. Uh... What if he cut combo for Kazan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, way. Okay. Well, I guess this is where you guys are on. We haven't... No, he did... He, I'm sure he did throw some of the combo pieces in the previous games. It has to be yeah. in there. <laughs> There's no way he got combo. Oh, like, huh? <laughs> oh, that's a... Uh, huh. Or do you just... I, yeah, you probably just scenarios, you know. I, I mean, yeah. Gideon is already gone. What's the worst thing that can happen? Ugh. Cleave? I think if he played scenarios the turn before, this game would have been much cleaner. Yeah, potentially. Ugh. Scenarius is such a big body. Mm-hmm. Is he just gonna Doomsayer, soak some damage? Yeah. I would say so. Still, Gibbler is, like, not too behind here. That's oh. really interesting. You take the risk with, like, the Drake. Ah, oh, it's so scary. Okay. Savage drawer. You can at least clear the, um... You can clear both, actually. I, I, I think like... you face tank at the 10. Yeah, you, you definitely... No! Wait, what? No, Gibbler, what? don't! No, 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 no. You yeah, Savage Roar, face tank the 10. Absolutely. Yeah. Five drop, Savage Roar, hero power. You, you can easily tank the 10. Exactly. There's no boss remaining. Any 5 drop will do. I would probably yeah, just either. draw. No. I'd probably draw. Yeah, probably the Drake, but I mean, you definitely clear it both of those. Oh my gosh, don't give him this! You could have a 5-8 and a 4-4 four, four on the board, and now he has nothing. Wait, no, no, he wins with combo. No, he doesn't. No, he does. He wins with combo. He does win with He's just he, gonna he, draw a combo he, next turn. It's easy. This game's over. But he would've been... No. I mean, I don't know. I guess the execute would've come Wait, down. He would've, had, I mean, he would've had lethal with combo this turn, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Pat knows he doesn't have combos, so there's no point in playing Drake. No, and I mean, oh, if he did do the play that we were thinking about, <gasps> there could've been, like, he could've, he could've used the death spite on the Drake. And execute the scenarios, so yeah. but maybe this worked out better. Maybe. I don't know. It still it still seemed like a strange play to me. Yeah, it it was strange. But Firebat did have the answers required to to That's true. The... Firebat's draws not been too bad. Not bad at all. Oh man, if he belts and goes space with everything, but there's no way. The MC that could be hilarious. Uh, he's playing Aww. Grasses in the deck. Alright, well, alright, that's good. Yeah. Alright, as long as it doesn't hit anything. Like, if it doesn't hit the Drake or if it doesn't hit the, uh... Well, ah, that's bad. Yep. Two face tank it? Probably. Play Belcher. Yeah, I think so. I think, he the the I think he would even drop the... Fire. I'm trying to think if there's reason to play the Fire X though, because it's only two mana. It's like you can play it next turn if you want to, or if you pick up uh, another Death Spite, you might want to do that instead. So he doesn't necessarily have to play the Death Spite. You mean the uh, Vorex? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, I meant the Vorex. Uh, it's kind of safe to say that there's no Harrison. Can you I just think. silence the 3 5, I think. And then yeah. play the MC Tech, attack phase, hope for lethal. And then following turns. Yeah. Well, you definitely silence. 
Yeah. And Fire Breath only He's, with... <laughs> look at that smile, he's just like, okay, okay, I got this. Yeah. If, if it... Scroll Dustmaster would be 1-0. Nice. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's a card. Like Ragnaros. Ragnaros would do it. Ragnaros would do it. Would it? No, it wouldn't. <gasps> Oh, is that enough? It's, it's Wait, is that enough? Good. That's ten. I can't do math sometimes. That's not enough, is it? Oh my goodness. Where did his smile go? Oh, he's still wow. smiling. He's just like, yep. Oh. Uh, oh. Combo to clear. <laughs> Both players with like dotting in their hand. Oh man. That... Then you have to combo to clear, right? Yes. Right? It's funny. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just like... Firebat is only execute. This is gonna be a top decking wars. It can still go either way. If Firebat draws, like, let's say, Armor Smith and Gabler draws Azure Drake or something powerful. Yeah. He, anything can happen. The thing is, Kibler already used, like, all his cycle. He used an That's Azure Drake, he used double lore. Double lore is gone, yeah. He used Scenarius. Like, the only thing he has left is, like, boom, maybe. Mm-hmm. Most of his stuff is gone, that's true. Wow, this is pretty exciting. For fire, but it should be a minion, not a spell. That's not very good. No, not good at all. Especially because he has Keeper, oh my goodness. Yeah, Kibler can definitely come back, and Firebat's odds of drawing into a big bomb are so low. Oh my god, this is so <laughs> stupid. Stop with the castle, <laughs> I can't take this anymore. <laughs> this no, so that's not the minion you want to have. It's supposed to be a Harrison Jones. But he's protecting his tooth. He even realizes, I think he's just like, yep, these yeah, guys are laughing at all. Okay, these guys <laughs> are not working out. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one. I like the cycle. Oh, that's his last bomb. Unless he's running Ragnaros. Nah, uh, that's pretty sweet. Can heal himself up next turn. Yep. Oh man. I mean, Gabler could still like draw a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> but he has... Gabler's just laughing. The rip gets on. <laughs> 2015 to 2015. Okay. Oh, well, that's a minion. Okay. Not the worst thing he got to turn. Whoa, wait, what? I think you just go for board. I think so though. Read the 1 3. There's no way you're running by bursting this, especially because no, he's no, no, no. draw mechanics. Like the point, why would you go face? Like, I don't know. Yeah, he is clearing. I think that's the correct, correct line of play. <clears throat> no, I, I do like, like, Kibler's... Like, I don't like these decks, but I like that he's, like, teching stuff and, like, changing it up a little bit. It's really yeah. to see the same thing over and over and over. That's and true. So at least he, like, you know... He's like, oh, like, double Kazan, mind control tech. Like, that, you know, you're gonna wreck Mech Mage. He'll look like a genius if, like... Plays against Mech Mage and like Hunter and stuff like that. So I just feel like the Gazons are like the theme of this series. It's like the three games I think he played like five Gazons over three matches. <laughs> and they haven't, every haven't game. stole a secret. <laughs> <laughs> one secret. I can't get over it. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, I did the same thing last week, but I, I was man I, managed, I I did the same thing as Firebat last week, and I, but some for some reason I did not get punished, but I just had some really nice draws. So I can't like if I'm firing shots at Gibbler's strategies, like yeah, you... <laughs> you know, kind of like making a fool out of myself. Uh, but for my defense, I was only running one Gazan in my Druid and one Gazan in like the other decks. All right, just for the body. Yeah, I like it. He doesn't have uh, ground wash anymore. There's no reason mm. to hold on to that. It needs to be like a big game hunter. Uh, and it's not. Dang. Savage is horse. That... No, it's it's not game just yet because he can trade for the Alex straw. So. Yeah, he's still one HP. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't know. <laughs> this is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> this is... I'm just like, well, if. Uh... You know, Firebat draws into two Doomsayers. Two more Doomsayers. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's actually pretty good. I didn't see that play, by the way. I completely missed that he was able to click both of those. Oh. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so like. 
He can throw a taunt. Like, yeah, he can throw a taunt. And then, yeah, Druid of the Claw. The thing is, we haven't seen a shield slam. Oh, we saw, we saw one shield slam from Firebat, right? Yeah. Druid of the Claw? Uh -huh. oh. oh. Troll Doom. And that is that. Yep. Firebat taking really decisive 3 0 of Brian Gipler of Brian Kipler Gaming. <laughs> Like Kipler. <laughs> uh, I wonder how many times I said Gazan during that series. <laughs> well, probably too many. Like the, the Twitch is going crazy. Like, uh, stop saying Gazan. Talk about other stuff. But it's just, it was like it was pretty big deal in the series overall. I mean, it's like you know, they stay in his hand the entire time. You kind of have to talk about his hand. So <laughs> yeah, it's true. So uh, next match will be, and the last one of the day, will be Life Coach going up against Orange. Life we saw Life Coach drop a series against Amos earlier today. But he is still like, yeah. He's in a good position. Like, yeah, he's in a good position. He's he at four to, wins. Uh, and... He needs to win this one, though. Uh, yeah. If he wins this one, I think he might even be guaranteed to get into the um, LAN finals. I, I think so. At, the, at least he is like quite high up there. Like his chance will be good. Orange on the other hand, Orange is not looking so so good in this league right now. He's at two wins and four losses, so that's that's gonna be rough. But uh, Orange is not somebody who would give up. If he wins this one and he wins the rest of his matches, he can still climb back and at least stay in the league for the for, for season two. Yeah, that is. Shot off is a top five and he's right now he's ninth, but he can climb maybe to fifth position if he keeps winning. But if Orange loses here. I don't it's think there's any way. Open. Yeah. No. No, he's he's really uh, in that <laughs> that type of situation right now. <laughs> so better better win. I'm sure he's gonna bring his best decks and uh, try to do his best. Yeah. And for life sure. coach. I'm I'm gonna just make a wild guess. That life coach is gonna play the exact same three decks. I think he might switch up one class, but I think they'll be the same list for the most part. Yeah, because like I don't know. It was an hour apart. His opponent could have just watched the games. That's true. Oh, no, but you have to submit decks two hours before, right? Yeah. So you can't really... But, but he might have planned it out. Like, if he was thinking about that, that he doesn't want to, like, his opponent to know. We should... This is kind of... We're giving some strategy away. But we, we, don't, we don't know the deck list, so we are just guessing here. So I guess it's not unfair in any way. Yeah. It's like... He, oh, yeah. He might play same stuff, or he might play other stuff. We'll see in a little while. We're going to go to a short break right now, and... Uh, then we're gonna see the last match of the day, Orinson Life Coach, stay tuned. <laughs> 